And in your control panel, there is a option for uh, Wacom tablet properties. And if we open that, we'll be able to configure all of this stuff. So we can configure the tip feel, which is really helpful. I tend to press down really hard when I write and when I draw, so it's usually better for me if I set this to firm. And you can test the amount of pressure by pressing down lighter or harder here in this little meter. You can change the tilt sensitivity. You can change the way that the two buttons function. You can go to eraser. You can change the erasers pressure and everything. If we go to mapping, this will let us select which monitor we want to use with our tablet. And since I only have one screen here, uh, this isn't going to be an issue. But if I was working on my desktop, I have two screens. And so I might need to pick which screen I want my tablet to work on. You could also use both if you wanted to, but I prefer to just work on one. We can go to the functions tool. If you want to set these different express keys here, you can make these do just about anything you want by changing all of these little options here. If we go to the touch option, then we can change the pointer speed. There's the standard gestures tab, which gives us some different ideas of what we can do to control the screen with our touchpad. And you can set all of these to do different things. And then if you're left-handed and not right-handed, uh, there's also a way you could switch this. And then you could just flip the tablet over and it's an ambidextrous tablet.